Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, it's pay dirt review time, but some really cool package pay dirt. TNT. This is from an eBay seller. His name is TNT Art Studios, with the TNT standing for Tucker's National Treasures. I was browsing eBay the other day, and I saw this, and I had to jump all over it. I love really cool packaging. It's If you saw my Dorado Gold review, I fangirled all for it. I love this one. This is really cool. And again, this is his TNT Powder Keg. And it's supposed to have $20 worth of gold plus a piece of silver and gems. I'll read you his description. Handmade 5.5 inch by 2.5 inch wooden keg from TNT. One pound of gold pay dirt. Tucker's National Treasure TNT is a family run small mining business. I and my two children mine, sluice, classify, and bag all the pay dirt that comes from two different claims. We do salt seed our bags with gemstones, gold, silver, and copper to guarantee a fun and educational time for everyone. We guarantee gold because we put it in the keg. You will find in this keg $20 of fine powder, flakes, and or pickers at 25 to 10 mesh gold. A man-made .999 silver nugget or coin. We have 30 different gemstones that we pick from to salt your keg with and you will get at least 5 gemstones in this bag. With your gold and silver, this brings your ROI to 70% plus gemstones. ROI, return on investment, not including the shipping. We are the only store online that you can get the deals we offer. Others come close, but still can't pan out. And then it goes on and on about how this is for a hobby, and if you open stuff, you can't return it, and all those disclaimers. And... I do like this part. Unless you have a leprechaun, genie, or lady luck herself in your pocket, you will not strike it rich. So don't plan on strike, striking it rich, and I don't either. So let's weigh this up. I, again, I really like this packaging. Really cool. So let's. I did weigh it up with everything, and it weighed 1.2 ounces. So I'm going to be curious if the pater itself actually weighs. Let me see. Yeah. 1.21 ounces. So I'm gonna be curious if I just do the pay dirt. I mean, this does pre feel pretty thin. I mean, this guess it's made out of like balsa wood. Let's see. One pound. Awesome. That's really cool. This is really cool. Definitely going on my son's bookshelf. TNT. All right. So let's get to the pay dirt. It is looks double bagged, and it is double bagged. And it is dry as well. So there we go. I am going to let you listen to some music. So I will rinse out this bag afterwards as always. So I'm going to let you listen to some music and I'm going to classify this down. As you can see, not much in the plus 10, but pretty equal amounts in everything below the 10. And in the plus 10, it is pretty much a smorgasbord of things to pick out and save. So I see some gemstones, really cool, and some silver as well. Didn't see any gold, but a lot of little bitty gems as well. Hmm. Really cool ones looking ones. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I will go through this, of course, and pan it just to make sure there's no gold. And I will pull out all the gemstones. You can have a pile of them and show the silver. This silver looks handmade. Well, this one looks like this one really can't tell. I was going to say it looked like grown silver, but I don't think it is. 
I think it might be just poured silver as well, just maybe poured into water or something. And then a little silver round. So that's gonna be it. Let me check out the, and if there's any magnetite or anything on here. There you go. Now I, I did contact this seller one of the things I will say, and hopefully it's changed by the time this video airs, but unfortunately he didn't have a lot of stock in his store. He only currently has a set, which is this TNT thing with a pan and a snuffer and things like that. And I'm hoping he'll add more. I just emailed him about five minutes ago. I'm hoping he contacts me back before the end of the, me shooting this video. So I can let you know when he'll have more products in. But if not, you'll just have to save his store or go buy that one thing and wait for him to get more. Because I'm sure if this is a good bag, he will be getting a lot of emails. So I'm going to go pan this out and find out what kind of gold we get. So finished panning everything out. And it was pretty easy stuff to work with. It had a lot of organics in it though. So if you're not a fan of organics floating around... It can be a little bit of a pain. But now let's get into what I found. In the plus 10, found nothing. Absolutely nothing gold-wise. But I did find, as I showed you, a nice little assortment of gems as well as some silver. And again, looking at the silver, it does not, this piece right here, it does not look like crystallized silver it looks more like melted silver dropped in water or some other thing to get it to form like that so that was it no gold just silver and gems and then in the minus 10 plus 20 i did find some gold two pieces to be exact and there you go zoom you in let you see them zoom you out and then in the minus 20 plus 40, I found even more gold. Probably close to 20 pieces. So pretty nice little pile of gold there. And then I got to the minus 40 and found even more gold. And again, a nice little pile of it. Just some nice fine gold. So I'm going to let you listen to some more music. I'm going to put this in boats and then we're going to weigh it up. start with the silver. I'm going to weigh it up first and see what we got there. So 1.794 grams of silver. Nothing in the plus 10. On the minus 10 plus 20, 0 0.091, there we go, 0 0.012, 0 well, scale just went crazy, bump the table, and that's what you get. Minus 20 plus 40, 0 0.57. I don't think this plus 10 is going to move the scale any, so I'm just going to put it in. I'll just, just do a final way. This is not looking like it's a very good amount of gold. Zero point zero six four. Let's call it that. All right, I'm going to be right back with my ROI and my review. 
All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get to it. This again was from TNT Art Studios. He's an eBay seller. This was his one pound TNT powder keg. It was supposed to contain $20 worth of gold plus silver and gems. And by his statement, it will give you around a 70% ROI. Its cost was $35. Shipping was $9.98. Total cost, $44.98. Now, before I even go any further, that does not look like 70% ROI from $45 or $35. He does say his 70% ROI is based on just the price. doesn't include shipping. And there's no way that's 70% of 35 bucks. Gold I recovered right here, 0 0.064 grams. Silver I recovered, 1.794 grams. I also found some gemstones, but those don't have any value as far as I'm concerned. Gold spot on the day I received this was $42.48. Silver spot on the day I received this was 51 cents per gram which means total I recovered was gold, $2.72, and 91 cents worth of silver, which means my total in was $3.63 is what I recovered, which means my ROI was 8%, or on my scale, a 0.8. Uh, absolutely dismal. So right when I saw that, I decided to email this seller to ask him about this because later on in the description, I'll talk about one of the things I had. Well, actually, I just say it now. One of the problems I had with his description was the fact that he says it has $20 worth of gold. He doesn't say it's got a half a gram. And right now with gold being at $42.48, if he said, oh, it's got, you know, 0.45 grams of gold, you would know I'm going to find four, you know, 0.45 grams of gold. But he says $20 worth. So I emailed him right when I found this gold and I asked him, what does he base that $20 value on? Does he base it on 20 years ago or two years ago when gold was $2,500 an ounce? Or is he basing it on what he paid for the gold? You know, I don't like, I really, I mean, I really, really, really dislike the use of putting a dollar value on what you're putting in a bag of pay dirt. I, this is in all my paid reviews. I've never seen anyone do this before. I've seen lots of people say you'll find nothing. I've seen people that say you might find something. I've seen people say you'll find a gram, two grams, all kinds of numbers or non existent, but I've never seen somebody put a value on it because it's so arbitrary. It, you know, I could say, oh, I mined that gold. So to me, it took me four hours to do, and I'm putting five bucks an hour on my time. I'm going to claim that's $20 worth of gold. It's just, there's no way to say it. So I emailed him. I stopped doing this and I said, let me email him to see. I told him, I, you know, he doesn't obviously know it's me. I emailed him and I said, look, this is what I recovered. I recovered about $3 worth of gold. There's no way this is 20 bucks worth. And I asked him, how do you, you know, and I want to know, maybe he does base it. Maybe he says that's worth 20 bucks to him. You know, maybe he's got some little place that he sells gold out of and people will pay 20 bucks for that. So I asked him how he calculated. He said he would check his old videos and he would see. And he said this bag did not contain the added gold. And he was apologetic. And he said he was going to ship me a new bag with the added gold. Because in my email I stated to him, I should have found close to a half a gram of gold. And there's no way I missed that much gold. I mean, you might miss a couple little, you know, you've seen my end of the year review. I might miss a little piece of flower gold here and there. But there's just no way I missed $15 worth of gold here. So he was apologetic, like I said, and he did say he would send me a new bag and this and that. I, I mean, I did, I am going to email him back and tell him not to worry about the extra bag. I mean, it's just it, what's done is done. He's getting this review. But then I remembered something. I had his other bag. So even though I had said this was for me and my son to go through, I panned it out really quickly. I did not want to spend the time to shoot it in a review. So I just panned it out to see what I would get. And let me tell you, I will tell you something about, now this three ounce bag was $25 plus shipping 
and it was guaranteed $17.50 worth of gold. Again, no stated amount of gold, just $17.50 worth of gold. This is what I recovered. More gems, and again, a very small pile of gold. So let's weigh that little bit of gold up, which is why I have my scale here. Because again, this should be 1750. It should be about 0.4 grams of gold, or about, you know, somewhere around there. And again, 0 0.084 under a tenth of a gram. So again, it's about $3 worth of gold. So it is obviously not $17.50 worth of gold. So I, I don't, you know, I can't say he didn't just forget to put gold in here, but I did find it kind of funny that he said he watched his videotape where he, I guess he videotapes what gold he puts in there. But I mean, if you're gonna go through all the trouble of videotaping, how do you forget to actually put the gold? That's the whole reason you're videotaping. But all right, let's get back to the scores. So ROI, he's getting a 8%, or on my scale, a 0.8. For a fun factor, I'm only giving it a two. Now I would have only given it a one because that's how much Roy I found, but I did add in the extra point just because it did have some nice gems in it. And I have to say, when I first saw this bag, it really made me think of Matt Hunt's one, an old eBay seller that used to have bags of pay dirt that had stuff like this, a little bit of gems, a little bit of gold, and a little bit of silver, and it was really fun. And when I saw this, that's who I thought of. When I read the description, I thought of Matt Hunt's one, and who's no longer selling, and I thought, awesome, it'd be great to have a replacement for Matt Hunt's one, and this definitely isn't it. So I did give him a little bit of boost, a fun factor of two, just because of the gemstones. But that's it. For paid or description, he would have gotten an 8 because he had a really good description, but I'm bumping it down to a 6 because it didn't have the close to, and not even close to $20. I don't know anyone that would call that $20 worth of gold. For quantity and packaging, it was the one pound and it was packaged really nicely, so he's getting a 10 for that. For customer service and shipping, I'm giving him a 10 on both, but you know, the shipping was super quick. And I am still on the fence a little bit of if I should give him a 10 for customer service. I mean, I emailed this seller, I think, four or five times. And every time he replied really quickly, he answered all my questions. I mean, I asked a lot of questions. I asked him when he was going to get more product in, where else he sells, and things like that. And he was really, really helpful. And again, when I told him I didn't find much gold, he was really quick to say, you know, let me look into the matter and apologize and said he would ship me more. But I still think I should have lowered his score a little bit because it, it's just not that. But I left it at 10 and a 10. So the total score for TNT Art Studios is a 5.8 on this is their powder keg. Uh, I just, I, I really had high hopes for this one. This is a bag I was really looking forward to. You know, I, I, I love the little TNT keg. You know, this was really awesome. And I'm still gonna save it and put it in my son's room. But I was really, really hoping for a better result than this. If I'd have found twenty dollars worth of gold, this would have been an awesome bag. I would have loved it. And but I didn't even find close to twenty dollars. I found three dollars worth of gold. But anyway, I'm gonna flash up the score right here for TNT Art Studios powder keg bag, and then I'll be right back with this and give away my twenty-four karat gold-plated dime. So watch the score. For today's 24 karat gold plated winner, it's going to be Rogue Angel 75. So Rogue Angel 75, make sure you email so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching and happy panning.